Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, can I co comment on some points raised by the... You have board? no right. Tinatanong ko lang kung nandiyan ka pa. Thank you, sir. Uh, Magaling ka magpaikot eh. You were telling us pure lies. Ang sabi mo, yung mga health uh, care institutions are the ones paying the expanded withholding tax. Di ba? You were collecting 2% expanded withholding tax. Hindi totoo yun eh. It was Pill Health itself. Because Pill Health is the only withholding agent of the BIR. Hindi yung health care institutions. Okay? Magkano ang binayad ng Pill Health? Sinabi na rin ng pagtatanong ni Congressman Barbers, 156.7 million. Kayo ang nagbayad. Pagkatapos, magsisinungaling kayo. Ano makukuha namin na, na mabuting sagot kung ganito ang gagawin ninyo? Ang sabi ni Dr. Atty. Del Rosario, isa lang ang department na. Parang hindi niya alam, may dokumento ako, apat ang departamento niya. May I start with you, Attorney Del Rosario, nandiyan ka ba ba? And I warn you, kung ano lang ang tinatanong ko, yun ang sagutin mo. Huwag kang magpapaikot dito. I think, Mr. Chair, we should already advise them that right now, we're working on a complaint for plunder, malversation, and charges of administrative offenses, and so many things. And the final form of this complaint will depend much entirely on the kind of answers that you will give us. Attorney Del Rosario, hindi ba ikaw ang, re ang regional vice president ng Region 1? Noong uh, yes, 220 cases against hospitals and doctors were forwarded to your office. Yes or no? Yes, sir. I was once... Uh, yes uh, or no? Yes, I was once the uh, regional vice president of Peter, Region 1. In 2019, nung hindi na ikaw ang senior vice president, teka muna, you were asked to file 220 cases. Ilan ang pinail mo? I'm sorry, Mr. President. The, the ones uh, filing the... I am asking you, uh, out of the 220 cases endorsed to your office, how many cases did you file? The, regi the regional vice president is not the one filing uh, cases, uh, Mr. President. It's the, we, it's the legal office of the region that files Attorney the... Attorney Del Rosario, I'm warning you, I have documents with me. Wag mo kong paikutin. I don't care if you're the best lawyer in this country. Pero sa ngayon, sagutin mo lang ang tinatanong ko sa iyo. Because in 2019, nung hindi na ikaw ang senior vice president, ito ang lumitaw. Only three cases were filed versus St. Catherine Hospital. Totoo hindi? I, I don't have the data. As I've told you, Mr. President, the one filing the cases... What do you know? The... Palaging paikot-ikot eh. Ikaw ang binigyan ng SPA. Do you want me to show the document that you were given an SPA by then Interim President and CEO de la Serna to file appropriate criminal, civil, and administrative cases, for example, against several uh, culprits? This is dated November 2, 2017. Hindi mo Mr. President, uh, Mr. Chair, that uh, particular... I am uh, asking you, do you know about this SPA? I, I've known that SPA only of late, uh, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Chairman. I have not seen that... Uh, th that particular document was forwarded directly to I the... am asking you uh, if you know this because this is an SPA issued to you by Interim President CEO De La Serna, dated November 2, 2017. I have During the documents the with me. Yes, sir. I, I've, seen, I've already seen that document. But oh. uh, I cannot remember seeing that document uh, uh, in 2017, Stop. Your Honor. Mr. Mr. There Jay. was even an endorsement dated 13 September 2017 for the filing of criminal and administrative case 
against a certain Dr. Martin Corpus. You know this document, don't you? I've seen that document. Uh, on Do the you know this video. document? I'm not asking you whether or not you saw the document. Yes, Your Honor. Paikot-ikot ka. Ito, Mr. Chair, ang problema sa taong ito eh. Despite all this, SPA endorsement, 220 cases endorsed to your office since you were acting regional vice president of Region 1. Wala kang ginawang pinail na kaso kahit isa. For example, it was also disclosed nung mawala ka na sa Region 1, 11 cases are missing. 10 cases versus Elgira General Hospital. One case against Dr. Macario Macaraeg. You deny this? I, I'm not aware of that, uh, Mr. Oh, yeah. Yan, yan ka na naman. You remember, I have all the documents. I don't care if you remember or you don't remember. That's your problem. Meron kang memorandum number 2018-14. You directed its and every provincial regional office to file at least one complaint per quarter. Itong memong ito'y ginawa mo, Doc, uh, Attorney Del Rosario, after certain operational audits, fact-finding investigations na kalagay sa memo mo, that there are certain facilities and professionals that are acting against the interest of the PhilHealth Fund. Kaya ang ginawa mo, gumawa ka ng memorandum, you ask all the regional uh, offices to determine and ascertain those people, those culprits, identify all them. Parang ang ganda, no? To protect the interest of the PhilHealth Fund. What is the reason why you gave them a quota of only one criminal case? per one quarter. What is the logic for making or putting a quota or any limitation? Sir, that uh, quota is uh, the minimum. Uh, kasi napansin ko po nung pag-assume uh, ko dito that ever since uh, PhilHealth was created, there were only 11 complaints, uh, criminal complaints filed. And I reviewed the uh, cases and all the uh, criminal complaints were filed by the central office. So there was actually a confusion whether who will file the criminal complaints. So I issued that memorandum, but uh, at the same time, I recognized the limitations of the regions pertaining to their capacity to process all these cases. Attorney so Del Rosario. Why... Yes, sir. Uh, alam niyo po dito sa session, si Congressman Marculeta, Congressman Barsaga, hindi na po dapat sila nagpupunta rito because of the COVID. The least you could do, Attorney Del Rosario, while uh, conducting Zoom at nandiyan na muna po kayo sa Zoom, eh, i-on nyo naman po yung video nyo para nakikita kayo ni Congressman Marculeta habang nag interpolate siya. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Oh. Kahit hindi ko na siya nakikita, Mr. Chair, mas okay pa sa akin eh. Importante lang sa akin, sagutin niya ng matino yung tinatanong ko. So, ang sinasabi mo, Attorney Del Rosario, Yes, sir. Ikaw palang nagdetermine. Gaano ka kasigurado na yung uh, determination mo, that's only one filing of one case per quarter, yun ang tama, to protect the interest of ill health. Bakit naman? No, that's the minimum, Mr. Chair. Sino nagsabi sa yung minimum? Who sir, told you? Kasi, sir. Who instructed you? To give that minimum, why not five? Why not ten? Kasi yung ano ko kasi sir during that time, wala pong, no 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 no. Uh, Sino ang nagsabi sa yon? Who gave you the guideline? Nakinakailangan isang kaso lang per quarter. Can you imagine one filing of case for three months? Sino ka para idetermine mo sa sarili mo na yun ang minimum? Why 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 work for the minimum? Why not maximize the opportunity of being able to determine all those culprits in order to defend and protect the funds of of Pill Health? Wag ka na mga tuwiran ng kung ano-ano. So si ikaw pa lang nagdi-determine. Yung pa lang mabuti sa Pill Health. That is the way to protect 
Defense of PhilHealth, kailangan isa lang na case ang ipahil in three months' time. Mr. Hindi ko, Chairman. Hindi ko alam kung anong logic meron ka, Tony. Ah. Mr. Chair. Teka muna, I'm not asking you anything. Right. Okay, sir. Proceed, sir. Sorry, sorry. Doon sa PhilHealth Circular, dito makikita natin, Mr. Chair, siyang nagdi-determine, ah. Wala kang sinabi na ang board ang nag-advise sa'yo. Not even the board, not even the Exicom. Only one person, Mr. Chair, has the power to determine kung sino at ilan ang ipapayal na case. Sus Mario, Joseph na buhay ito. Doon sa PhilHealth Circular 2020, balikan natin yan, 0007. Merong effectivity doon eh. Napansin ko lang kagabi nung nire-review ko ito eh. Do you know the effectivity of that Particular circular, Attorney Del Rosario? Uh, if I remember it right, I think uh, it's March uh, 20 or 21, Mr. Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Narinig mo sagot, Mr. Chair? Why did you say it took effect on March 31? 21 yata. Uh, 21 po yata. I, I don't have the document right now, Mr. President. Wala Mr. ka palang Chair. dokumento. Bakit sinasabi mong March, 20, March 31 what? What year? 2020? Are you, are you referring to the IRM uh, circular, Mr. Chair? I am talking about PhilHealth Circular 2020. Ito yung IRM. COVID-19 okay, ito. Okay. Kabisado mo ito eh. Bakit mo sinabing March 31, 2020 ang effectivity? Why? Hindi sir. Ang sabi ko sir, ang alam ko March 20 or March 21. Ang sinasabi ko sa'yo, merong effectivity itong circular na to. Ang tanong ko sa'yo, do you know when did this pill health circular take effect? I think nakalagay po dyan, effective immediately, Your Honor. So, so hindi mo kabisado? I'm you tell sure me, I will help thing. you. Hindi mo kabisado? Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, it takes immediately from its publication in a newspaper of general circulation and... And take note, three copies, certified copies, to have, par to have been furnished to the Office of the National Administrative Register of the UP Law Center. When did you or Peel Health furnish the Office of National Administrative Hospital of UP? When? When did Onar of UP Law Center receive the three copies? from Peel Health. Sir, it, uh, it's not my office that uh, is in charge of that. So, maybe we can ask the uh, sector But maybe, maybe ka na naman eh. You are the executive vice president ng legal sector. You have worked for Peel Health for 20 years or so. Pati lang itong effectivity. Ito na naman, ha? paikot-ikot ka na naman. Alam mo ito eh. Do I need to tell you or, or give you the document? Ako mismo sir, ang nag-ano eh, ang nag-search eh. Sir, doon sa, during the Senate hearing, it was mentioned that uh, it was only on, in June that uh, PhilHealth provided oh. uh, copies to the owner. So what day in June? What day in June? If I remember it right, it's uh, June 11, yung document uh, shown by Senator Lacton. Alam mo, alam na alam mo na yun eh, magmamali ka pa eh. June 11, hindi 7. Do I need to correct you every time? I, I said June 11, Mr. Pre uh, Mr. Chair. Okay. So ngayon, alam natin, ito palang IRM took effect legally June 11, 2020. So what happened to the funds that you disbursed prior to this date? What? It appears that uh, the uh, requirement of the circular was not uh, satisfied uh, as to the uh, requirement to furnish the... Uh, what kind of answer is that? Are you a lawyer? Talaga ba lawyer ka? June 11, nung magkaroon ng kopya, ang owner of the UP Law Center. Meaning to say, doon lang nag-take effect yung inyong yung circular 2020-0007. Alright? 
Ang tinatanong ko sa'yo, what happened to the funds disbursed prior to this date? Let's say March, April, May, and June 10. What happened to those funds? Sir, it would appear that uh, those funds were not uh, uh, released uh, based on the uh, uh, prerequisites set by the circular on the uh, publication and the furnishing of copies to the owner. What? Can you speak better than that? Do you have a better explanation than that? Napakasimple ng tanong ko eh. Ano ngayon ang mangyayari? Do sa pondo na nirelease ninyo prior to the effectivity of this circular? So it, it is without authority uh, it would appear, Mr. Chair. Anong, ano sabi niya? Without authority. Oh, so walang authority. Then what happens to you now? To all of you? Illegal. Oh, illegal. Okay. Mabuti yan nagsasabi ka na ng totoo ngayon. Ako yun. Ako nagsabi nun. Honorable Marcoleta. Ah, ikaw ba? Oh, pasagotin natin sila. Do you? Okay. Do you agree to the statement of the chairman? Illegal. Oh, hindi na makasagot. Uh, are you asking me? Yes, uh, Mr. I agree with oh, the illegal, chairman. Oh, illegal, di ba? Illegal na. It is not, uh, it, not, it did not uh, comply. Tinatanong with, uh, lang kita, illegal na, di ba? Simple, yes, simple. Chairman. Attorney Del Rosario, simple lang po sagot. Illegal po ba? Hindi. Yes, I agree. I agree, Mr. Chair. Ano sagot, na, Mr. Chair? Sabi niya, yes, I admit, I am pretty certain. I, I, Is that correct? I agree. I agree with the chairman that uh, it's illegal. Oh. Oh. Was that properly recorded, Mr. Chair? Yes, Honorable Marcoleta. It was on record. Thank you.